I'm Rick Veer, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and this is Rode University. Today we're going to talk about camera mics. Sound is half the experience of any production. If you're not planning on replacing your sound in post-production, then you only have one shot to get it right in the field. Rhodes Video Mic and Stereo Video Mic are great solutions to combat the low-quality microphones that come standard on most consumer and prosumer camcorders, in addition to the latest digital SLR cameras that shoot high-definition video. These mics have cold shoe mounts that allow for easy mounting on most cameras, as well as the ability to mount them on boom poles and even tripods. Let's take a look at their specs. The video mic is a super cardioid condenser shotgun with a frequency response of 40 Hz to 20 kHz. The stereo video mic features a pair of the same condenser capsules as the video mic but in a fixed XY configuration, making it perfect for gathering a true stereo image. Both mics include an extensive built-in shock mount system which helps isolate the mic from the camera. While these mics are specifically designed for video cameras, their applications are very different. As a shotgun mic, the video mic works well for grabbing sound bites up close and personal, whereas the stereo video mic is better suited for B-roll, events, and concerts. Now let's put these mics on some cameras and hear how they work. Today I'm here with Robert Phelps, director of the award-winning comedy Stick It in Detroit. Robert's shooting a web series with the Canon 5D Mark II to help promote his film. This camera shoots amazing pictures and allows for sound recording, but doesn't come with a microphone. So he's using Rhodes Video Mic to help capture candid responses from people who have seen his film. The mic has an 8th inch mini plug that easily connects to the camera. There's also onboard powering of the mic with a 9 volt battery. Now let's take a quick look at your film. No, please, please. How about you, girl? You no, wanna get high? No, no, no. Oh, too pretty. I haven't seen a movie that funny in a long time. Oh. It's amazing. Great movie, great movie. Very funny. All around laugh, smile the whole way through it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Loved it, man. The hot rod was hilarious. The whole movie was hilarious. I highly recommend that you see this movie. Stick it in Detroit. They come get a good help, man. I'm gonna go to the bad place. As you can hear, the video mic is a great solution for down and dirty running and gunning. But don't forget, this mic can be mounted on a boom pole for independent filmmakers that are looking for better sound in their YouTube videos or other creations. Now let's head outdoors and check out the stereo video mic. As we know, a shotgun mic delivers a mono audio signal. This works well for dialogue, but can make a B-roll shot sound flat. Good stereo imaging can help pull your audience into the scene, making the stereo video mic the right tool for the job. Let's listen to some B-roll of a Royal Oak City Street with the camera's built-in mic. Now let's switch to the stereo video mic. The scene comes alive with the better quality audio and stereo imaging. You should also note that we use the dead kitten that comes with the mic to help protect it from wind noise. Remember, you should always use wind protection when shooting outdoors. This mic is also an ideal solution for people who want to upgrade their camcorder mics for weddings, school projects, and home movies. Now let's head back to the chop shop and wrap this up. So let's recap. If you don't plan on replacing your sound in post, then you've got one shot at getting it right. Onboard camera mics are often the only solution that a videographer has in the field. Having both the video mic and the stereo video mic gives you the ability to choose the mic that's right for the shot. A good rule of thumb is, if there's someone speaking, use the video mic. If it's B-roll or event coverage, then use the stereo video mic. I'm Rick Veers, and I'll see you next time at Rode University. Until then, make some noise. <laughs>